this is AFP Internet Core MVC Learn and Practice Class. Today in this lesson, I will guide you how to work with the Entity Framework Core to create model from a database. Let me open SQL Server and also Visual Studio to show you what we have learned in previous lesson. And then we will continue to work with the Entity Framework Core. Let's get started. This is the SPL server. And in previous lesson, we already created a table user inside the database name VS Core Project DB. In this table, we have some the column, ID, name, email, phone, and address. And we also enter two records into this table and then open Visual Studio. In previous lesson, we already created connection between Visual Studio and SQL Server. And here in the server browser, you can see we have a connection into the VS Core Project DB. We have table here in the user. And then in order to work with the entity framework core in our project, so we have to install some of the package from Nuit, go to the solution browser, and then you click on the VS Core Project. You select the menu. Nugit packet, it will open up another window. Nugit packet for VS Core Project. In the search box here, you go ahead to search the SQL Server. And then in the search result, you see the value is microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sql server. Just go ahead to select this option. And then in the right hand side, you see that we have an install button. Click on this button to install the latest version of the entity framework core SQL server and click on OK button. I accept it. And you see here, this one has been installed successfully into our project and then close this one. Next step, I will install the tune for entity framework core. I will have tune. I will select the option A. Microsoft.EntityFramework.Core.Tune and then also click on Install button to install this packet. Done. Close this one. And the last packet will be the SQL Server. Load Design. You see we have option First is microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sqlserver.design and click on install button to install the latest version. Installation is done. Close this new window. And then you back to the solution browser. You click on the dependencies package. Like and inside the packet, we have some the Microsoft Entity Framework Core .SQL Server. Those SQL Server design and tune and also other packets in the previous lesson. So next step, I will go ahead to create a folder in the model. I right click on the model, select Add New Folder. I will name this new folder in Entities. And then the last step, I will go ahead to generate some the database contact to allow it to create a contact for mapping the database into our solution project. The DB contact add a bridge to link the VS core project with the database. Select the tool in the menu and then select option E, Nugit packet. Manager, select the packet in packet manager console. Let me make it bigger. Actually, is this packet manager console? You are also able to install the Nugit packets, the same as we did in the previous. In this of using the graphic user interface to install the Nugit packets, you can also using the console to install it directly here. In case if you remember the name of the package and also some of the command line, 
you can use this one for faster. And here in the package manager console, I will go ahead to use some script to generate the database contact because the .NET Core MVC, it does not support for generating the database contact and some related stuff are via the graphic user interface like the ASP.NET MVC. So we have to use some decoder line via package manager console to use the and generate the database contact. Let's type in some decoder line here. Let me copy the connection string between the Visual Studio and SQL database. Click on Server Explorer and select this instance of database. Right click on it and select property. In the connection string, let's copy this one and paste it into this command line. I will have data source generated. Database name is Viet Core Project underscore DB. Persist security for user E2, user E at A. Password, okay. Password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the next step, I will be using the Microsoft. Microsoft node MTT framework. And then the last step, I have to provide the name of the output folder. It should be the motor, motor and entity output, and then enter. It will take the time to build and generate the database contact. You see here, so we will succeed. And there are some the warning messages. It says that uh, we have some the sensitive information in the connection string. And it will also suggest we should avoid to include the sensitive information into the DB contact file. And here, this one is some reference link to guide user how to handle this issue. And I will have uh, another video to talk more detail later. Let me hide this one because we have not already finished on the how to generate the DB content. Cool. And to look into the entity folder. In the entity folder, you see that it had generated the DB contact file here. And you can scroll it down to see more detail. There are some of the methods inside this DB contact and also an instance of the user. Because for now in our database, we have only one table in user. So after we do some of the generation, for the DB contact, it will have to generate only one, one model here for the user. And in case, if you have a new table updated in the database, and then you need to perform again the command line to the generate the uh, DB contact and also as a table model in the entity folder. Let me close this one and also this one. After you finish, this lesson, you know how to install some of the packages, which will be support you to work with the NDT core framework in the .NET core. You also know how to use some of the command line to generate the DB contact, which will be help to link the uh, Visual Studio project with our existing database. And then after we perform the uh, command line to generate the uh, DB contact, it will also help to generate the, the data model for big table in our database. Okay, hope this video will have fun for you. Let's have some time for a break and we will continue to learn it later. Bye-bye.